Actually, I got two more questions. And then, um, I'll be done. But, um, last year, we asked you what your favorite games were and things like that. And the game, since you probably played Game Boy Advance and probably played some of the game Q titles, what's your favorite Game Boy Advance title that you've played so far? Let's see. Well, I just started playing Mario Kart. Um, what do you think? Oh, I love it. <laughs> We've been doing it in the office here at the end of the day. Okay, quick game, quick game of Mario Kart. Um, I know. But yeah, I gotta play. So that, that I guess would be yeah, the new game. Um, and I still play some of my N64, or not my N64, my uh, Game Boy games. Okay. Pokemon Puzzle League. <laughs> yes. <laughs> played it on the plane, got me over here. Yeah, you told me last year. I think I'm still stuck on that. I'm, I'm a puzzle game person. Or Nintendo. Um, there's some puzzle games you said was your favorite, one of your all-time favorite games. Yeah, okay. It was probably Mario Picross. Yeah. I'm the only person who loved that game. Yeah, we for GameCube Picross. <laughs> I don't think it's coming. Um, <laughs> that was a great game. It was a great game. Love that game. Oh, but I'm a puzzle game freak. Um, what, about, what do you look forward to on Game Boy Advance? Looking forward to on Game Boy Advance? Warrior yeah. Land looks like fun. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. That looks like fun. Yes, I fell on the side. Yeah. The person that Nintendo would hear about saying that's good, I forget what her name was. Shelly. Yeah. She's like, yeah, just know that's great. I'm like, damn it. You like to run out So, like, for the game, other games that are coming out, uh, I think you can probably preview or something like that. What are you looking forward to? For Game Boy Advance or yeah. GameCube? Game Boy Advance. I'm trying to think. I've been so focused on GameCube lately. I've got to get back into Game Boy Advance. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything right off the top of my head. But I'm sure that'll change in the coming weeks when I start seeing more. i got to get down on the show floor and see what's down there. Game Boy Advance works. I haven't played that, but and everybody who has. Ken Love's a big fan. No, everybody in our treehouse. Addicted to that game, love that game. So, and that's when did we come out with that? September 10th, I think, is the launch date for that. Heard fabulous things about it. So, yeah. So, yeah. I haven't played it yet, but it's dangerous. Yes. <laughs> I've heard many hours have been wasted on that game. How about GameCube? What's your favorite title that you've played so far? I love Pikmin, and I want to go play more of that. Play that at E3. I kept going back and playing that. I was very intrigued by that. Um, Smash Brothers, just because I can hit buttons and things happen and it's fun. <laughs> it's like, I don't have to know what I'm doing, and it still looks cool to watch. Um, you know, Luigi, I, I haven't had a chance to play that actually since E3, so I'm anxious to get back on the show floor and play a little bit more of that. Um, yeah, no, they all you know look intriguing to me. But I'm not the best gamer, so I have to do something that's sort of idiot-proof. So it, it requires too many. Actually, we were playing that in the office the other day. Great, great game. That was a blast. You should give it a shot. That was a blast. Yeah, I actually figured the bowling part of it. Monkey. One of the mini games is a bowling thing. Yeah. I saw golf. I saw someone playing golf today. Yeah. That's that's fun game. Yeah. Uh, that one's a lot of fun, but that's more up my alley. Like I always liked Mario Party because of the mini games or the mini games from Pokemon Stadium. So, uh, yeah, like, yeah, or the little licky tongue and the sushi and all of those. <laughs> Love that one. Yeah, so. Oh, speaking of mini games, uh, the e-card reader mm -hmm. is that is that plan on being released in the US? Yeah, we just don't have a date yet, but um, yeah, that's we'll have. Not 2009, I think. Probably not. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be towards next year, but we haven't confirmed, you know. I forget what the date is here, um, but probably something they'll bring out here first. But it's really intriguing. Have you... I haven't done it yet. ...done much or looked at it? I'm we got the card I haven't down there. Yeah. I mean, it's a really unique concept. Um, so it's pretty intriguing. Yeah, when Peter was saying it at breakfast this morning, um, talking about the fact, you know, people were talking about just massive amounts of storage media, and Nintendo just goes to the <laughs> <laughs> and releases something on a piece of paper. Typical Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> we have to look at things. It's so awesome. A little, little different way. Um, I think that's about it. You guys have any other questions? I just had one more, at least curiosity. Um, I know what the connection between GameCube 
and Game Boy Advance, it, it seemed like something could be done, and maybe I've heard rumors of it, um, actually putting Game Boy Advance games on this, the Game Boy, the GameCube CDs or discs so that you could download parts of it onto your Game Boy Advance, play it, and upload it. You mean kind of like Kirby? Yeah, kind of like Kirby or kind of like something that was done in like the Pokemon stadium games. Transferring data? Transferring data or even having just miniature games that you could download to a blank ROM. For Game Boy Advance. I haven't heard about that. I think they've been more, more, mostly focused on, you know, taking some data, downloading it, taking it to your friend's house, and then uploading it. So if you, like in the Animal Forest examples, I think if you created some pattern or something, you know, some characters, and then you can take it to your friends and use what you have. But, you know, that said, I think um, the fact that the two have been designed to work together from the beginning, I think it's really up to the developers to see how they want to push that. So, you know, I don't know if that's not possible to do. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, the potential is there. It's very exciting. Are those games being released in the US? Which ones? No plans right now. Yeah, they're not on our schedule right now. Like Doshin. Yeah. Why don't you mention it? Yeah. Um, uh, I just have one more kind of curious question. Uh, with the Pokemon company being created, and they're handling most of the marketing and the sales in, the, in Japan, are they going to be handling marketing pretty much in the U.S. as well? Or, or is Nintendo still pretty much handling that? Um, we're very involved right now, um, and we'll see what happens down the road. So nothing, don't really know right now at all? Nothing right now. <laughs> just one. Yeah. Well, any games that aren't going to be released in the Western market? Any that aren't going to be pushing? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's think what's on that list. I mean, I know of ones that are just not on our schedule right now, and, you know, I have no idea. Like Animal, like the ones you just mentioned, the Bits of and Ocean and Animal Forest. Um, yeah, but that's like if you have something in mind. No, I was just wondering if there was any you knew definitely won't make it out of Japan. The animal leader comes to mind. It's one I think of that probably won't. The animal leader. Yeah. Munchy, munchy. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's munchy. not on our schedule right now. <laughs> yeah, munchy, munchy. Well, that was, that was, oh, well, there well. was something that was surprising because Kuru Kuru Korean was released in Europe and Australia later on. Yeah. And Japan, but it was in the US. That's the strangest thing ever. Which one was that one? That was the Weird Lion game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a game. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Um, you know, it's you know sometimes we look at markets and kind of what we think will work. There's a lot of people that I know. Yeah. At least a lot of our readers are importing up from Australia. Yeah. I guess it's like get it in English. I've got a Japanese version. Yeah. So I don't know of the ones that are out there right now, and some of the other marketing decisions or other reasons of why something is or is not brought to a market. It may have been just the competitive situation at the time, which you may have the products coming out, and didn't make business sense to do it. Okay. Just have one more question. We get it. Sorry. <laughs> we have a lot of questions from readers that, you know, they have their own games that they want to see come over. And they're always asking, what's the best way to, to influence Nintendo's decisions on that? I, do you have anything to say about that? Or the websites. <laughs> I know. I mean, we get hundreds and hundreds of emails and letters. Yeah. I don't know if there is, you know, a way. Um, you know, a lot of times we'll look at really strong sales in other markets. You know, that may dictate um, what is coming to the crappy girl. games. Yeah. Yes. No it's more Superman 64. Oh. That's right. Good game. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's a tough one to say. I mean, I don't want to say write more letters because we get plenty of those. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's kind of a tough one. I think it's really more of a decision that's made internally based on what they see happening in marketplace. Yeah. <laughs> Can I take a GameCube home? No. Please. No, in here, Please. yes. It's in here. Oh, I know. Those are cool. Yeah, we were putting those together last night. Film right off. Yes, the foam ones that actually we gave away at E3. Have you watched any Japanese television while you've been here? No, I've been watching CNN.
Oh, you're missing out on some fun. Yeah, it's strange. <laughs> Great commercials. Yeah, the Wario Land commercial's awesome. I, yeah, I, I did catch the tail end of that. I don't know why the little game came out. I was quite pregnant on yesterday. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I saw the Wario Land one. They're kind of funny. Well, I think that's it. Okay. Well, you guys have to go and play again. Yes, yes we, we do. do. They, they, they close at five. Yes. Oh no, we've got and, two and, hours. And today's your day. You're probably your best day. Yes. Right. It's not going to get much more crowded than it is right now. Whereas tomorrow, it's going to be a zoo. It's going to be a zoo. Yeah. So it's time to. Yeah. To go play. Cool. Thank right. you so much. Sure. Sure. Yep.